and it was just a lot. <laughs> girl Jay and today I'm here with my October wrap up for 2019. I read a total of 12 books this month so I'm splitting my wrap up into two parts. This is part two so these are the last six books that I read for the month of October. If you're interested in part one it'll be linked down below. I did not have the best reading a month based off of star ratings but I did end up reading 12 books so can't complain. So without further ado let us get started. The first book I'm going to talk about is The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. This book follows Nora, her best friend Chris, and her boyfriend Max. They stumble across some shocking discoveries while working as research assistants for Professor Hoffman while looking through manuscripts and letters from 500 years ago. Then one night Chris is murdered and that sends Nora and Chris's girlfriend Adrian to Prague in search of answers about a mysterious machine called the Lumen Day and a way to prove Max's innocence. They quickly realize that there are other people searching for the answers this machine holds and they will stop at nothing to find those answers, including murder. Like I said, I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I was left wanting more at the end. Although it was entertaining at times, a lot of it was very slow, which left me unengaged with the story. I didn't really care what happened to the characters or what they were going through. It took over a hundred pages to actually get into the action of the book, which in my opinion was way too long. There was a lot of setup that needed to be done for the world building of this story, which I understand, but still left me really bored throughout. But yeah, overall, very average read for me. It's not one that I need to revisit or anything like that, so. The next book I read was The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda. This is another one that I gave a three out of five stars. 17 years ago, Kelsey's mother escaped her captors, pregnant and scared. She has not left the house since then in fear that the, her captors will return. She has brought Kelsey up on this fear and taught her to look for danger everywhere she turns. One night on an act of rebellion, Kelsey decides to sneak out and when she returns, her mother has gone missing. So with the help of a boy named Ryan, who is a volunteer firefighter and just so happens to be in her math class, she is on a mission to find her mother before anything happens to her. The book started off very slowly. It took until Kelsey's mother went missing before I was truly invested in the story. I also found it to be very predictable and I'm not 100% sure if that's because I've read so many thrillers at this point that I'm just really able to call what's going to happen next or if it was just the story. I also found the writing to be very repetitive at times which took me out of the story when I would notice it so that was kind of annoying. The characters were okay but nothing overly special so overall another super average book for me. The next book I read was Again But Better by Christine Riccio and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It follows Shane whose pre-med life has been predetermined for her by her parents for as long as she can remember. She ends up taking a chance and signing up for a year abroad in London. Things don't go exactly as planned and then years later she gets the opportunity to do that year over again and it's like the story of that. This book is split into two parts. I was not the biggest fan of part one which is Shane's first time in London due to the whole cheating plot line. I'm not a fan of those which is ironic because Anna and the French Kiss is one of my favorite books, but I also read that when I was like 15 or 16, so we've grown up a little bit. I feel like if I've read that again today, would not like it very much, but anyways, that's a whole nother story. I ended up really liking the book during the second part of it, when Shane gets the second chance to go back to London. One of the biggest downfalls I will say that I had for this book were the constant 2011 references. It just became too much after a while. I really did like Shane's character development in part two. I loved watching her grow up and realize that she needs to think for herself rather than rely on other people. I was not the biggest fan of Pilot throughout the entire book. He did 
grow on me a little bit in the end, but still not like a new fictional crush for me. I was a big fan of Babe, who is Shane's roommate. I thought she was very supportive of Shane and a really great friend to her. I also really liked Atticus, who was Pilot's roommate, but I do wish that there was more of him in the story. Huge benefit of this book is how fast paced it is. It just flew by. I finished it in one sitting, so that was a lot of fun. But yeah, overall 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I have is another graphic novel and it is My Boyfriend is a Bear by Pamela Ribbon. I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I don't know how to feel about this book because it was cute, but also really weird, but also cute. Like, it was literally about a girl who falls in love with a bear. I thought the bear was going to be a metaphor for something, but no, it's a literal bear, so like, creepy, but like also it's a fictional story, so like, chill, it's not that serious, but also like, you're having sex with a bear, so like, it's weird. But on the bright side, like, the panels are a lot of fun, they're like super colorful, good times, like the bears going on a little stroll, like people are scared of the bear, like it's just, it's a fun book, but really weird, like really weird. So 3.5 because like I mean I had a good time, but weird. The next book that I have is First Grave on the Right by Dorinda Jones. I ended up giving this a 1 out of 5 stars, I was not a fan of it. It follows Charlie Davidson, who is a part-time private investigator and a full-time grim reaper. So it's her job to help the dead cross over to the next life through her. But with the help of her best friend Cookie, she helps those who were wrongly killed solve their deaths by working for her uncle in the police department and it's like the story of that. But it just is not a good book. It's like supposed to be a funny paranormal romance, but the love interest is trash. Um, the first time that they meet he threatens to rape her and then sexually assaults her and then we're just kind of supposed to forget that that happens because he's hot and has abs and I'm just not here for it so one out of five stars. Also the main character Charlie is just kind of annoying. She's one of those people that has to have a one-liner for everything and it just got really annoying really quickly. I'm reading the second book right now and I will say that it's gotten better than this one. I'm only like 60 pages in so I mean it could just go downhill from there but I have the first four books in the series so I'm gonna read them. But yeah, I did not enjoy this one, one out of five. And then the final book graphic novel that I read for the month of October 2019 was Girl Town. This is by Carolyn Nowak. And I ended up giving this a 1.5 out of five stars. I was not the biggest fan of this either. Clearly, I just did not have a good star rating month, but that's okay. Basically, this is a collection of short comics by this author that follows these four or five girls through their adventures, but they literally made no sense whatsoever. Like, I was confused the entire time. They didn't really line up with each other. They were just kind of all thrown into a book. The stories just felt very unfinished and just like, they weren't put together well. One thing I do like about this book was the panels were a lot of fun and each like, story had a different art style which I thought was kind of cool because like it's the same author and artist who did every single story but they were all different that way but still very confused about what any of them were so 1.5 not a fan all right everybody that was my wrap up part two for October 2019, if you're interested, check out part one that's up already. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.